Now, let's see the functions of Volta. First of all, the on off switch. If you press this on button, nothing happens. Do you know why? Because you have to press and hold it until the light becomes blue. That's the correct way of turning Walter on. See this? Hello, I'm Walter. Press and release when the light goes blue. Same thing on the pen. The on off button, you have to press and hold until the light goes blue. Now it's ready to use. And now the volume function. The volume can be adjusted from the Walter base unit or from the pen. To adjust volume from Walter base unit, we use these two buttons. Volume up, volume down. There are five levels. One to five. To adjust the volume from the pen, we only have one button, which is used for up as well as down. When you turn the machine and the pen on, by default, it starts at level three. When you press this once, it goes to level two. One more time, level one, and then it starts to go up again as you keep pressing it, two and three and four and five. Let's see. Walter also comes with a record function to help you listen to your own pronunciation and compare it with the correct pronunciation. To record your voice, you have to press the record button and the light goes red, which means it's recording. When you want to stop recording, you have to press the record button again and it stops recording. Jellyfish. Let's record that. Jellyfish. We just recorded it. Now to play this back, we press the play button. Jellyfish. Compare that with the correct pronunciation. Press the repeat button. Jellyfish. Your voice. Jellyfish. And the correct pronunciation. Jellyfish. Remember, if you press and hold, it doesn't work. See? Nothing. You have to press and release. Press and release. Jellyfish. The maximum recording time is one minute. Also, there's no memory, which means every time you record, it only keeps the last recording. The microphone is here. So it's better to speak in front of Walter when recording. Another function of Walter are the audio ports, which are right here. The one on top is audio out to connect Walter with a headset or to connect Walter with external speakers in case of a classroom. The one at the bottom is audio in to use Walter as a speaker for your own MP3 device. To connect Walter with the speaker, you need to have a standard audio cable which looks like this. This is 3.5 mm jack. To connect Walter with an external speaker, this goes in the one at the top. And to use Walter as a speaker for your own MP3 device, this one goes at the bottom. The wireless function uses radio frequency, also known as RF. And this pen can be used at a maximum distance of 10 meters from the Walter base unit. When you finish using Walter, remember to switch off the base unit from here like this. Bye, see you soon. And also the pen from here like this. And always remember 
to put the pen back into the base unit like this. Walter comes with a one year warranty, but you must register. And the registration must happen within four weeks of your purchase. It's very easy to register online. Just go to educationaltechnologies.com slash warranty. Or you can use the warranty card to fill in and give it to your distributor at the time of delivery. You will need to put in your complete and proper serial number which can be found at the bottom of the base unit right here. Remember, when you register online, you get a one month extended warranty. So instead of 12 months, it's 13 months. One of the most important components is the user manual. This has everything that you have seen on this video plus more information. For example, how to care for your Walter, troubleshooting, which means what to do if your Walter stops working. For more information about Walter, contact your local distributor or contact us at educationaltechnologies.com. Thank you.